Hey, how y'all doing? Meanwhile, I look like the outlaw Jesse Wells. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is going to be a brief S log. I'm driving to go pick up my work laptop. Man, I love working from home. It's amazing. Anyway, um, what's going on in my world is uh, I got a PlayStation 4. Well, of course I got a PlayStation 4. Sheldon, you're an idiot. I got a PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S. Not S, excuse me. Not the Xbox Series suck. I'm um, the Xbox Series X. I have that. Why can I not talk? Am I having a stroke? I hope not. Anyway, um, just did a podcast again, Real Gamer Show. Uh, we restarted. We had to talk about the new systems and the hangups we had with the new systems and on how, you know, basically how tough it was to get one. Um, when you got one, the, the instructions or lack thereof telling you how to set this up, you know, set up these systems. And we just went over that and uh, it's been interesting. So I'll put in the description a link to the podcast. We haven't recorded a podcast in over four years. So, of course, this podcast is damn near three hours long. But it doesn't feel like it because we're talking about everything from the pandemic to the president uh, elections. Well, those those are, those are like good 10, 15 minutes. But we're talking about the new systems. And that took over like two hours itself. Just talking about the systems. Do we like them? what you need to do before you buy one should you buy one or should you wait um how's the cross gen games are the low time we went all over it we talked about everything if you're in trying to invest in one or both of these new systems i suggest you listen to my podcast because i go in depth um on what not to do and what to do when you get the systems so you won't be like me i am a guinea pig and i spent a some money cost it made costly mistakes with these systems i didn't break my systems but if i knew how to update them i wouldn't have to do what i had to do just check out the podcast um the reason why i'm even making this video this shell shock video is because of the people who don't have the systems and their vitriol against people who have systems or who wants to buy systems Namely, a lot of these females. Now, granted, November 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, I see more dudes take jabs at people that play video games. But after the 14th, the 15th, 16th, and 17th, I'm seeing a lot more females saying dumb shit about guys that play video games. First and foremost, every man on this planet has a hobby, needs a hobby. A lot of us, we work hard, we work, you know, we diligent, we pay bills, we provide for our family, we project, we protect our family, we pro, uh, profess our family. You know, we do a lot for our family. If we're married, if we're if we're a father or if we're a husband, you know what I'm saying men need a hobby. Men need their escape from reality and escape from their family. Mine's is video games. Some men's is sports. Other men's is archery, hunting, shooting, you know, drag racing, etc, etc. One thing that my uh, hobby gives ragged on, because a lot of people think that video games are still kitty and gear for kids and you're immature if you play video games. Which I find laughable at best because a lot of women who say that only immature men play video games are the very thing that they hate. They're immature little girls who hasn't grown up, who don't understand how to keep a relationship, how to make a man happy, and how to keep a man. So who's really immature here now? You know, I read uh, somebody pointed out a... a successful black businesswoman and she put up a stats and you know I stopped dating guys 10 years ago 
I started dating gamers 10 years ago. It was the best thing I ever did. I date guys who, uh, who, uh, whose hobbies are in the stocks and bonds. And I'm like, man, shut up. No, you don't. Because if you date a guy and he, you know, he's watching a football game, I don't think he diversifying his funds while he's watching his team lose. That's the last thing he's thinking about is the damn stock market when, you know, Pat Mahomes is just destroying his team on Sunday. You know what I'm saying? They always think that we're at every waking moment that, you know, we have to be serious. We got to be due diligent. We always got to think about, you know, about serious stuff. Like, these women are a trip. A lot of these women are a trip. How are you going to tell me what a real man do when you don't have one? That's the shit that be killing me. And second of all, in general, I mean, Kevin Hart made a joke about this. I think it's seriously funny or um, laughing my pain. He basically said, women do not like it when men have fun without them. And that's true. A lot of these women do not like men to have fun without them. If fun is going on and they're not a part of it, then the man should be miserable. Because why? Because they're miserable. And that's the truth. And a lot of these women do not like it when men enjoy themselves without them. They have to be the center of the universe. And ladies, I hate to tell you that you're not the center of a man's universe. A man can make you happy and he can make himself happy without you grow up get a hobby and i noticed another thing a lot of these women that complain about men hobbies they don't have a hobby it's imperative for the healthiness of a relationship that each partner each spouse each person on the other end of the spectrum of the relationship should have a hobby that deals without their partner i play video games wife doesn't like playing video games she hates it but that's my hobby my wife's hobby is to exercise and read books. I don't read books that much. I should, but I don't read books. But that's her way to settle down and, you know, enjoy herself without me. She reads books. That's her hobby. So every every person should have a hobby in a relationship that doesn't deal with their spouse, their lover, their significant other, their partner, whatever you want to call it. They should have a, a hobby that doesn't deal with their family. Now, you can have hobbies that deal with both of y'all, and that's y'all thing. That's your thing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all sit down, y'all cuddle, you you know, you, you go to the show, you go eat, you know, because you're foodies, you know, you go archery classes, you go to gun, you go to the gun train, the gun, uh, gun range together. That's cool. But a lot of you need to have solo hobbies, solo dolo. And a lot of women don't. I'm really getting tired of women always saying that men that play games. I also saw another, uh, Somebody sent me a link. Somebody sent me a link to a uh, Joe Button TV. They had three girls. I don't know who the three girls were, but they're like celebrity girls, and they was talking about video games. And one girl said the best, you know, the best dick she ever had was from non-gamers. I don't think gamers can fuck. Let me explain something to you. We get down, nerds and gamers. Actually, there's been a scientific. Uh, survey it was on max i remember this it was on mansers it was on mansers remember the show mansers they said who has the best sex nerdy chicks or you know cool chicks you know what i'm saying and these are you know mansers was done by scientists and this and that and they come to find out that smarter chicks have better vagina and then they was like, well, they was like, I don't know, this is a show about men for men, but we also did it on the opposite side, and they said that men, you know, men, smarter men, have uh, uh, have better dick. And the fact of the matter is, we do, because we take our time. We're not about self, well, self, excuse me. You know, smarter people is about pleasure and about pleasing their mate. You know what I'm saying? We ain't about solo dolo. We about to get, you know, we get we we get off by getting you off. And for her to say that nerds don't have no good dick, how many nerds have you fucked, lady? Obviously you haven't, because we get down with the get down. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. But anywho, what do I know? It just and it, and like I said, I'm getting real fed up listening to these females. Voicing their opinion, their shitty opinions, and it's like, you know what? Um, I got invited to a, a, a podcast this week, 
I'm gonna put that in the description, and I'm gonna go ham. I think uh, I'm gonna hurt some people's feelings. You know, I, I could say it here on on uh, on S log, but nah, nah, son. I'm gonna save this this heat. I'm gonna save this heat for this ham on that on that podcast, man. People gonna be like, oh my god, did you hear what he said? Yep. And all it's going to be factual, actual. No opinions. It's just going to be factual, actual. It's going to be nothing but the facts, straight facts. I'm delivering the papers. I'm serving subpoenas. That's how hot it's going to be. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> I feel like an outlaw. I am in Texas. All I need is a six-shooter and some and some chaps, some spurs, and Betsy. Betsy's the horse. <laughs> all right, later.